All right, all right. L D W M M A C. This is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. And guys, I'm going to talk about the ugly truth. Okay, Jean Guilly versus Jessica Andrade. The ugly truth. Now, you know, guys, I've said a lot of things leading up to this fight. Um, I got my prediction wrong. Okay, um, definitely got my prediction wrong, but I was spot on about Jessica Andrade. Okay. And guys, I'm going to break it down frame by frame in this video. Because guys, I'm going to tell you guys the ugly truth. Truth number one is that Jean Malie, the only reason, you know, only reason why she got a title shot is because she's Asian. Okay? Folks, that's just what it is. Okay? It is what it is. And, you know, we definitely, you know, we definitely going to go through with that. And also, too, she got a title shot because... The UFC, they want to go, they want to go over into the Asian market, and you know who better to to help promote the Asian market than 19 and one Zhang Wali? Okay, well now she's 20 and one now. Um, Jessica Andrade, she just took a beat down. Okay, Jessica Andrade took a beat down, and the truth is, Jessica Andrade should have changed camps a long time ago. She should have. Um, there are a lot of things that Jessica Andrade just isn't doing in the fight game, and I'm going to break that down in the video. Jessica, I've been watching Jessica for damn near three to four years, and she's been doing the exact same thing, okay? Unless Jessica really and truly goes through a technical metamorphosis, she's going to have a tough time in the strawweight division. Okay, she is. Because as the fighters become more and more well-rounded, okay, these fight the age of being able to do one thing in MMA, that's gonna go. And I'll probably even tell you in about five years, if you're not well rounded in MMA, you're probably not gonna be very successful. See Jessica, she's managed to get away with certain things, okay? Uh because of her strength and athleticism. Now, I'll tell you this, I kid you not, man. Jessica Andrade, she's probably probably one of the most athletic fighters in MMA today. Okay, and pound for pound, one of the strongest. Now, I didn't say the most strongest, but pound for pound, probably one of the most strongest. Okay, definitely Jessica Andrade is a freak of nature when it comes to athleticism. Okay, I tell you that now. You know, and uh, people are being very stupid. They're comparing Jessica Andrade to Chris Cyborg. Okay, well, you know, people don't know much about fighting. They're being stupid. Okay, well, you know, first Cyborg and first, uh, you know, Jessica Andrade. And, and, you know, we know why people are saying this. It's because they're two Brazilians, okay? Now, you know, I do, and I left a comment to T.C. Johnson. And, you know, my comment indicated, listen, <laughs> uh, it's not here. Now it's Chris Cyborg. Now Jessica, uh, now it's Chris Cyborg. Okay, now it's Jessica Andrade. Now it's Joanna Bojangelcheck. Uh, now it's Rose Namajunas. Okay, so we, we can't just sit back and say this because this belt has changed hands multiple times, Okay. But, you know, we're not going to form the narrative that, oh, okay, well, it's just, a, it's just a Brazilian thing. You know, that's what they do. Okay, because if that's the case, then it must be a Misha Tate thing. Because as soon as Misha Tate got the title, uh, Amanda Nunes took it. Up, oh, and a Brazilian took it. How you going to explain this? See, I can go on for days and days about this, okay? But the ugly truth is, is that Jessica Andrade didn't want to evolve. The ugly truth is... Jessica involved, uh, and and Drod didn't evolve, and here's another here's another ugly truth. Okay, Willie Jean won this fight. See, you got people running around here saying that Jessica and Drod took a dive. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you because the people that are saying Jessica took a dive, y'all, they probably never been in a fight in their life. And if it don't apply, let it fly, as General Africa would always say. Okay, the people who are saying that Jessica took a dive. You've probably never in your life had a fight. Because I'm going to break it down and I'm going to show you exactly. I'm going to show you exactly what caused the knockout of Jessica Andrade. Check it out. Okay, folks. So here you have, okay, here you have a video. Or here you have a small clip of the sequence of events that led to Jessica Andrade getting knocked the hell out. Okay, because I'm going to debunk all these people that are saying that, you know, Jessica took a dive. Okay, so, and I have to do picture frames because, you know, YouTube, the UFC, and people, they're very, very touchy about, you know, using their video content. But I am using this, okay, 
as for educational purposes. So stay tuned. Okay, so let's take a look at a frame by frame analysis, okay? And I'm going to do it by picture frame. Okay, here goes. Okay, so Jessica comes in, first of all, with one of those looping shots. And this is what I've been trying to tell y'all about Jessica and Dry Style. Notice, okay, and I'm going I'm to highlight this for y'all because I'm going to show y'all. Okay, look at the punch that Jessica threw. Okay, y'all see this. Jessica threw this looping punch. But look right here. Willie Jean wisely. Okay, and I'm going to say, man, this, this right here, this is the sign of a very, very skilled striker. Okay, very skilled. Because first, what Willie Jean did, she blocked the looping punch and then she countered with an elbow straight in the inside of Jessica and Dry. Like, she countered and then she threw an elbow right to the face and the jaw of Jessica and Dry. And that was a direct hit. Okay, that was that was flush. So y'all trying to tell me that Jessica ate this elbow, and then all of a sudden Jessica and Dry, you know, just decided to take a dive because you know Jessica and Dry just needed the money. You know, see that, that that's that, this is dumb logic. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, Willie Jean lands the elbow. Okay, let's keep going. Here's that frame. Then she lands another elbow. Now. Are you guys trying to tell me again that Jessica Andrade ate this elbow because you know she got a chin of granite steel? And I want you guys to look at this because I, I think people we need to use some common sense, okay? Jessica Andrade did not throw this fight. Willie Jean is just a hell of a striker. Willie Jean is just that good, okay? I even I underestimated her inside game when it came to Jessica Andrade. Willie Jean is that good. She utilized those elbows, and she used a lot of short and choppy elbows that got Jessica off balance. And, and look, this the, the first two elbows, Jessica was already on in dreamland, okay? It was just a matter of time. Guys, you know, we really, really do got to use a lot of common sense because it doesn't make sense, man, for people to say that Jessica would throw this fight to try to take away from Wheelie Jean's accomplishment. I mean, she won this fight, man. Okay, let's keep going, Okay. Now, Jessica, again, she's coming back, and here's Jessica, okay? She's about to try to throw another looping shot. Y'all see it, okay? But watch what Willie Jean does, okay? Watch what she does when Jessica tries to throw that looping shot, and that's what Jessica always does, okay? It, it, it doesn't, it hadn't changed, y'all, okay? Here goes. Okay, look what happened again. Willie Jean, on the inside, she slipped another elbow. I mean... How many elbows did Jessica get hit with now? I mean, it it is it has got to be a record. Okay, look at this look on Jessica's face. Clearly hurt. Clearly hurt. Now, watch what's gonna happen. Okay, we're just going through the frames. Okay, here go Jessica. She ain't learned her lesson the first time. Jessica didn't learn her lesson the first time. Guess what she finna do? Throw another wild punch. And guess what? Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's move it back. Hold on, move it back. Okay. That's when Wheelie Jean hit her. Jessica didn't learn. She didn't learn that lesson. She missed. Missed that looping shot. Okay. Then Wheelie Jean caught her with that left hand. And guys, I, I, I can only do but so much. I can't really play the video back like that. Because if I do, you know, you'll get in trouble. But you guys can see she caught Jessica with that left hand. Okay. Let's keep it going. Okay, Jessica and Dry was dropped. She was already out. Like, this pretty much was the end. Okay, this was the end. Okay, then Willie Jean put in a more tight clinch. Okay, now I want y'all to tell me something, okay? So, is Jessica and Dry just eating them knees because Jessica and Dry, you know, can take the knees because Jessica's built like a tank? Or is Willie Jean really hurting Jessica and Dry? I want y'all to look at this because we got a lot of silly people out there that's running around here saying that Jessica threw the fight. You know, and, and it's not, to add insult to injury, the girl already get knocked out. And now y'all saying she's throwing the fight. I mean, come on, man. Jess can't throw this fight. These shots are landing clean. Can y'all see this? And then here go Willie Jean. Now, Willie Jean did get away with two illegal elbows to the back of the head. She did, but at this point, the damage had already been done, okay? Take a look. The damage had already been done. Look. <laughs> the damage already done. Jessica Andrade at this point is holding on for dear life, y'all. You know and I know what's about to go down, okay? Willie Jong again comes back over top with the illegal elbow to the back of the head. 
Okay, there it is right there. I mean, literally, man, Willie Jean went into fight or flight mode. I'm going to just tell y'all what happened, okay? I think had this would have been a normal situation, Willie Jean probably wouldn't have hit her behind the head. But Willie Jean was treating this like, oh, okay, this is the fight of my, okay, this girl trying to kill me. Like, and see, you have to understand, you have to have been in a fight to understand. That's why, like, you know, people, they, they get on Jermaine Durandame for hitting Holly home after the bell. I, I, re I understand. I understand what it is. You know, when you used to doing that, and when you're used to that kind of environment, you're in a fight or flight response. Okay, this, this what, 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 what Wheelie Zhang is doing, this is a flight or flight response, okay? She's responding, and she's, look, man, she's beating Jessica like she, she in the street. That's what's going down. Then she clocked it with another elbow to the side of the head. Folks, <laughs> what are we talking about? Guys, I, I've debunked y'all within the first few seconds of the video, okay? She is just killing Jessica and Dry. I mean, hitting her. Then the knees. Now, that knee to the body right there, okay? That knee to the body. Did Jessica fake that too? Okay, did she fake that? This is the ugly truth. Jessica got beat up, and Jessica Andrade received the beating that she received because of her inability, okay? And guys, I, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this now because of her inability to actually make adjustments. And the reason why she can't make adjustments, y'all, is because Jessica Andrade don't have it in her repertoire. Because Jessica Andrade only has one way, and that's come straight ahead. To try to just dominate you in a fight. Here, let's put the video back up. She, Jessica's only got one mode, y'all. And you know, I know I don't want this to sound like I'm picking on Jessica. Okay, I don't want it to sound like that. But guys, this is the ugly truth. Wheelie Zhang won this fight, okay, and she won this fight brutally, in beautiful fashion. Wheelie Zhang won this fight. I don't understand what people are watching. I don't understand what people are seeing. Jessica couldn't have thrown this fight because she was in bad shape. Okay. First of all, the knees to the body ended it all, really. Okay? The punch could have did it. And here go Jessica on her bicycle, man. Jessica trying to get away. And I'm just going fast to fast forward this whole thing. Okay? Jessica was already done. I mean, she clocked Jessica. Wait a minute. Let me, let me get to the point where she clocked Jessica with that hand that literally dropped Jessica again. There it is right there. Okay? Look, Wheelie Jean hit Jessica with this right hand. And, folks, that was it. That was it. That's all. That's, that, that's all she wrote. Okay, the ugly truth is, y'all, yeah, 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 we can say Willie Jean got away with two two illegal elbows. We can say that, okay? But, you know, that really that really didn't predict the outcome of the fight. If you guys understand what I'm saying, that the fight was, hey, look, the damage had already been done. The damage had already been done, okay? Jessica Andrade was pretty much food, and she got ate up. So we need to stop with all this. Jessica Andrade threw the fight. She didn't throw the fight, y'all. Jessica Andrade was beaten. And she was beaten by the better fighter that night. And that's just the way that is. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.